Gilda Ravnica Mythic Edition through Hasbro Toy Shop is a complete and utter nightmare. Trying to purchase this thing, it, it was the most frustrating thing imaginable. I'm not even saying we were able to purchase it. Let me show you exactly what I went through step by step, even as far as talking to customer service on the phone. This is really bad. You're not going to see this anywhere else. I recorded the entire series of events. Check it out. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. So here's Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition. Uh, its scheduled launch was for 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is now 12.41 p.m. And uh, the only thing that's changed is 10 minutes in, around 12.10. Instead of getting a blank white screen when you go to Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition, you now get this screen, which it just says out of stock. It said out of stock before. You'd click on it, and a white screen would populate. So I ended up uh, going right to Reddit. You know, maybe someone had an answer there. They were all experiencing the same issue. So then I ended up using the chat feature over here, and I contacted Hasbro and, and chatted with one of their customer, uh, customer service representatives. They were quick to respond. However, they didn't really give much, much aid other than the products not sold out. Um, they were given a rough estimate <laughs> of, of when the product would launch, and they don't know exactly when it will now. Um, I took it back over to Reddit. And on Reddit, um, a lot of people are having the same issue, and I came across this link, which says, uh, Hasbro Toy Shop is experiencing delays with updating the stock of Mythic Edition. The product is not sold out and should be available soon. Sorry for any inconvenience, and thank you for your patience. This is seriously ridiculous. Here's Wedge. <laughs> you were told by the entire world that Hasbro Toy Shop couldn't handle this kind of traffic while it's selling on a website that can barely function normally. So many people are taking late and early breaks from work, waiting to continue their day. This is totally ridiculous. Absolutely. Um, everyone's frustrated who's trying to get their hands on one of these. Now, as much as um, I, I did talk smack about the product, it, it, it's, it's going to be a product that I, I, I find highly desirable. If, if It's limited edition. We don't exactly know what limited edition means. It looks like when you go to the Grand Prix, um, you can get your hands on one by pre-ordering through Channel Fireball. Again, limit of two Mythic Edition sets per, uh, per player per event. Photo ID is required to collect your pre-order. The ID must match the name on the pre-order and the DCI number associated with the pre-order. I mean, this is just... This is just a shit show. And it's, it's really, really unfortunate that... It's going this way. I just want to play the damn game. I, I want to get the cards. I just, I just want to open the product. I just want to have fun. I want you guys to see this, you know. And it's like, I don't. I'm not even certain that I can get my hands on one of these things. Um, when I, when I contacted uh, the representative, the only advice she gave me was just keep refreshing. So I'm stuck here refreshing until God knows when. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, this, is, this can go on forever, but this is a terrible idea. They never should have done this in the first place. And the, I think the biggest problem, the biggest issue at hand is, is, I mean, this is number one, really. Getting your hands on the product, it's almost next to impossible. Um, but the second main issue, it's not even an issue, but it's, um, it's cause for concern. Because these are so limited, what do you think is going to happen? Supply versus demand. People are going to jack the price on the singles of these Planeswalkers. And with Wizards not telling us how many uh, boxes or what the print run is on this set, it's anyone's guess what the heck limited really means. Um, there could be 20,000 boxes. There could be 100,000 boxes. There could be 1,000 boxes. Channel Fireball. From Channel Fireball. This is the only the only other option. You could pre-order them to Channel Fireball and have to go to a Grand Prix event. And these are all the events here. There's already sold out. New Jersey sold out. Uh, Grand Prix Portland sold out. And you got to pick it up December seventh through the 9th. Holy smokes! 
I mean, this is this is the wor- this was the worst idea yet that Wizards of the Coast has come up with. And I'm not one to sit here and, and talk smack, but man, this is a new level of frustration. It really, really is. My mouth just frickin' died. You gotta be shitting me. It's on overload right now. Are you serious? Did I frickin' miss it? No way. No, I did not. Availability, 10-4. They changed the availability on it. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. It went from out of stock to availability is going to be tomorrow now. What? This is this is this is outrageous. I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys what what kind of frustrations go on the scenes, um, <laughs> go on behind the scenes here, and uh, yeah, you're witnessing it. So now it's not even available yet. I got to contact them again. Let's contact them yet again. All right. Wow. So, as you guys know, the order of reversed, or the payment was reversed. Now I got Hasbro. I finally got through to them after 30 minutes of calling. I called my bank in the meantime. They didn't reverse the payment. I just tried processing it again, and this is the bullcrap error message I'm getting. Generic error with some stupid code. I don't know what the hell is going on over at Hasbro, but the time is 1.50. <laughs> Two hours after launch, I still have not been able to make a purchase. This is terrible. Both times it charged, and then there was like a minute delay, and then it just shot the payment back and said there was a reversal on your guys' end. I called my bank, and they said they had nothing to do with it. Right, okay. Um, what is the security code on the back of your card? Uh, one second. I'm going to go ahead and process this through, see if it goes through. Okay, thanks. All right, it said it took it, but like, let's hope it goes through. Oh, and then it came right back. Yeah, I okay, so I'm going to have to put you down for a follow-up. I do apologize because right now on my end, I am experiencing a generic error. Um, I know right now my supervisor is speaking with our corporate office regarding this to see what the technical issue as to why these orders can't be placed. So we will wow. have to follow up with you. Wow, okay. Um, well, I hear, how will I hear back from you? Um, I'm going to take down your information. Would you prefer an email or a phone call? Um, a, a phone call. Okay. What is your phone number? Two, uh, one second. Time frame, especially due to the release of these items, so everything is going to be backed up. Um, if you feel like you haven't heard from us and you want to give a call in just to follow up, you're more than welcome to do so, but I do have your information down regards to that, okay? Okay, is there any, like, idea of time, like a day, a few hours? I would out. say about five to seven business days, again, because the release of these items, um, we do have to follow up with anyone who is experiencing issues in the type of, in the order that it was received in. Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, I do apologize. Yeah, because, I mean, it errored out the first time within 10 minutes of going live. So, I mean, I'm sure that doesn't matter to you guys because I'm just calling now. But, I mean, you can check the first time I tried processing the payment. If that can yeah, bump me up, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. No, I do see that here that you did. You try using... Uh, the PayPal at first. And now we do show that you attempted to put that through and it just was never processed through. PayPal? I don't, I don't. Sorry, credit card. Yeah. So like, would it, would it, would you guys like backdate it to that time as, as that was my initial attempt? Uh, what do you mean? Like, well, you uh, a follow up? Yeah. Like if you're going to go in order of like, you know, who had issues first, I mean, are you going by me contacting you on the phone now or would you go by when the payment was reversed? The first uh, time. I'm not a, it would be possible that I 
probably most likely with you contacting us now. Um, I'm not exactly sure how my the, our corporate office wants to handle these situations. Um, we might be able to do something different. I just I'm not exactly sure. Wow. Okay. All right. Anything else I can help you today? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. No problem. You have anything. You too. Wow. Unbelievable. I hope this is a big learning lesson. This is terrible. This is just terrible. I'm Joey Moss. I'll keep you guys updated. Bad Boy Gaming. Hit the like button, guys. Share this video. Let people be aware of what the heck's going on out there. PLA.